everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jones. I am a former paparazzi consultant. Now I just speak out against paparazzi in my pajamas late on a, what day is it today? Tuesday night. Anyway, hi. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today I'm going to do some reaction videos. They are not going to be live reactions because I'm not live because I'm in my pajamas and I'm trying to stay awake. So anyway, I'm going to throw those disclaimers up and then we'll get this party started. So... Uh, here we uh, go. It's fun. So what are we gonna react to today? Well, a lot of things. So Anyway, hi, how y'all doing? I hope you guys have been enjoying the live streams that I've been doing with my husband uh, My fabulous wonderful husband um, And I've been enjoy enjoying interacting with you guys, but I know I haven't put an actual video out there for a while So that's what we're gonna do today. So I will be pausing while I pull things up uh, so this is just on the fly. I'm turning off the TV. So I'm sure you guys have noticed the background behind me has changed. It's because I am changing how I do videos in the future. Pretty soon I'm gonna have a backdrop behind me and a neon sign and I'm just gonna let you know I have a floof who, where did you go? Well, she was on her bed, but now I don't know where she is. I think she went into David's office. So anyway, the floof's bed is right there. But, so today we are going to watch Rochelle Beachy. This is Rochelle Beachy. Yes, her face is blurred because my anonymous contributor did not want her face to not be blurred. So let's listen to the bullshittery that is coming from Miss Rochelle Beachy today. Delicious. So we want to sell it out. Absolutely. Okay. So make sure you guys are maybe setting some money to the side for this as well. So you can grab a few, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> I mean, if you're used to buying one or two of something, I would get grab, you know, 10 or 20 if you can, as long as you're going to sell them. I don't want you just to buy them and just to hold them forever. Right. But it's going to be an exclusive piece oh, yeah, that you're going to so be able to sell more than just the week that it comes out. It's so what is uh, Rochelle Beachy talking about here? Uh, let me tell you. Uh, so she, I'm gonna switch things around here real quick, so give me a second. Rochelle Beachy is talking about her Black Diamond Bring Back piece. And what is that Black Diamond Bring Back piece? It's probably the piece that she's wearing around her neck right now. So, um, paparazzi, when you become an elite seller, AKA an elite buyer of product, um, they bring back a piece in your honor to show how amazing it is when you become a life of the party black a diamond. So she's sitting here with the former fiercely Fifth Avenue fashion fix piece with a bow on it because this was, I believe, December of 2022 uh, fashion fix set and it was like a rhinestone pearl necklace thing with rhinestone uh, bow earrings. So this is a bring back piece. Apparently we'll go to the paparazzi Facebook page in a moment to confirm this, but she is saying by 10 or 20. Um, I have a question and this is a serious question to all the active paparazzi consultants out there. When this was a fashion fix set and everyone's going, crazy for it in December of 2022. Um, how many of you overbought this? And how many of you still have it in your inventory to this day? 
Um, that's another thing we're going to look at in just a minute. But let's finish listening to this one minute and 26 second bullshittery. It's always the way it works, right? Um, so yes, you're welcome, Becky. You guys are so welcome. So I'm super excited about this. So please tag your people. Make sure they understand. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Hey, Devette, how are you, dear? Um, Love but also this month, you guys, people can join for 20 bucks, okay? So if they join your team, they will also get access to this piece, okay? You can't, I don't want you to tell them which piece it is or anything like that. Let them know we have an exclusive piece coming, right? Is this supposed to be a selling feature? Hey, everybody, guess what? If you join Paparazzi this month, you can join for only $20, and then you'll have access to this exclusive Life of the Party Bring Back piece that is so cute and so fun. And I would love it if you would join my team. It's only $20. You can join my team today. Uh, no, thank you. I mean, let's just go under the uh, new releases tab. Okay, um, let's, let's change the contact from Miss E. coli. So let's go to consultant name and we're going to type in Rochelle. All right, let's find Princess Rochelle BG. There she is right there. So let's choose this consultant. Let's shop with her and the Royal rock stars. Ooh, ah. Uh, is there a life of the party bring back piece? I don't know. We've got the Valentine's initials, inspirational, blah, 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 blah. Let's go to new releases. But as you can clearly see, even the new releases aren't selling. And this was a fashion fix set that came out a few months ago and was so ridiculously stupid. And I'm sorry, it didn't sell out when it was a fashion fix set. So what makes people think that the gray, pink, and yellow one's going to sell? I don't know. That's just my opinion. But yes, we have an exclusive piece coming right now. You should sign up. It's only $20 hairs. You can do it today. And then they'll be ready to rock it out, too, and be able to get it at a, di at a discount, okay? So we have the $20 sign-up fee, sign-up thing this month, right? Plus the $99 one where you get to pick your pieces. So they could even join with the $99. Um, the $20 startup thing is not just exclusive to this month. Ergo, did you forget that this is now a permanent part of the paparazzi line? This is a permanent paparazzi feature! So, uh, you can sign up for $20 now and forevermore. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay. Kit, um, if it was around the time of my Black Diamond dropping, okay, they could join with a kit and add those pieces to their kit. 35 of those pieces. Are you sure about that, Rochelle Beachy? Are you sure? Are you? Are ya? And here's the thing, Rochelle, they have to sign up when that black diamond piece drops before it sells out. So there's that. Yeah, there's just that. All right, so I'm gonna pause, pull the next thing up. All right, so uh, these are the pieces that are the recent Life of the Party bring back pieces. We have hearts with dangly hearts, a coil with black beads, and a stretchy bracelet of rhinestones. Ooh, ooh ah. And who are the people that are bringing these back? One of the perks of becoming a Life of the Party member is being able to bring back a piece of their choice. Each Friday, I will post a recap of which darling item re items return to the spotlight. Oh, okay. Uh, for 48 hours, these pieces were available to each consultant and their team. And they may or may not return to the masses in the future. The Fear of Missing Out, brought to you fresh by Paparazzi Corporate. Okay? So Lori brought the head-turning twinkle black bracelet. Diane Hebert brought Falling in Love, Multi. And then Rock Candy Range was brought back by Queen Monica Cox herself. Ooh. Ooh, ah. Uh. So cute. So fun. All right. Now we're going to go to sneak peeks with Misty because there was a sneak peeks with Misty today. And we're just going to watch together. So here we go. Hey, paparazzi. Ready for this? I think so. <sighs> Hey paparazzi, it's Tuesday and time for sneak peeks. And today it's so rainy here at corporate. So I got up and thought, you know what? 
I want to wear something that either makes me feel girly or something that's bright and makes me feel happy. Why? I don't know, but it kind of It's raining. Gee, um, Misty, can I just say, come to Seattle. It rains fucking all the time here. And guess what? Uh, there's a reason people are clinically depressed in the state of Washington. It's because it's raining all the time here. We have to take vitamin D on a daily basis because it's raining all the time here. So, I'm so sorry it's raining in St. George, Utah. But if anything, you live in the fucking desert. You need the rain. Be grateful. Count your blessings. Okay, let's keep going. Kind of takes away the gloominess of the day. So I decided to go very feminine in still a funky and sunset way. So I have an oversized sweatshirt on. You can see it's gray. It actually has a ballerina down the center. And then I've got these big oversized pink pants. Because they're pink and have the gathered pockets, I feel like it has a lot of femininity to it. It ties with a big bow at the bottom. So they actually... They look like skorts. They look like pants that were from a skirt. And they just cut it up the side and made legs out of it, okay? It's, it looks very pine. Who dresses you? And why are you dressing like you're 12 years old? I don't get it. A billow over my shoes. And for fun, my I have on chucks, but I undid the laces and I placed in chiffon laces. It's kind of a big trend right now. You, Misty Kirby. You are trying so desperately to appeal to a younger demographic, and it shows. The way you do your hair, the way you dress, the shoes you wear. Um, I'm just going to say it yet again. You need to dress your age. You are older than me, I think. So dress your age. Act your age. You know, um, I, I can't tell you how many people tag me and send this send these sneak peeks and hidden gems to me making fun of the fact of what you're wearing i mean i know i'm not perfect i'm sitting here recording a video for youtube in my pajamas but here's the thing my bursitis in my hip is off the charts i have gallbladder issues i'm recovering from you know other medical conditions i live in a state of chronic pain the fact that i'm even doing this right now is amazing me because i hurt okay i hurt so bad that i have my diclofenac sodium gel right here on my desk because i'm old so anyway you can change it out to chiffon laces you can do lace laces you could do ribbon laces and it gives it just some femininity so in this case white chiffon laces and then i have on silver jewelry which this is all of this is currently available but check this out i love this pendant and then you've got candace candace look if you're watching isn't that the same piece you have in your flea market stand right now isn't that the piece that you've been trying to sell for years? And look, it's a new release that's now a hidden gem. <laughs> Got pearls up the side. I paired it with a flower ring. And then right here, you can see this fun earring. Okay. Those are all currently available, but I love that I have got this long pendant and it's got the pearls, even though I'm in a very sunsetty outfit, it makes it a bit more funky and fun meaning the pearls. Bubbly. So let's get started with items that will be headed your way today. We'll start with this brass necklace. You can see it's very musings, which I love. I <sighs> okay, I don't know if that's intentional or if the rhinestones fell off of that. So I'm going to go to the new releases tab and see if that brass monstrosity is still available in the back office. Because if it is, and uh, I want to, I want to be, what the hell? Okay, so anyway, I want to see if that brass necklace, oh, you guys took the bait apparently. So you guys took the bait, but that thing, I don't know if that's intentional or not. Um, or if the rhinestones are just missing on that center bead. Uh, do you, can you guys see that? I mean, I'm going to miss, can you guys see that? It's very, very amusing, but she loves. She absolutely loves it. She just loves it so much. I love these rhinestone rings on here. So fun in the spacers and then those big chains. Obviously gives you a layered obviously. look without actually having to layer. Actually. One necklace already layered for you. It has a direct matching bracelet, which I love this little detail on here. So I'm going to show it to you. You see. All right. So let's look at it closer. 
Hmm. Do you see? The, it, it, you see? I see. I'm looking at it closer. Can you see it? I can see it. See right there, you actually see those stars. Oh, it's a that star! That one rhinestone in the center. And then look how fun this is right here. You can see that rhinestone or star spacer. See that? Just a fun little detail. What? That star on the ring is what? also included on this necklace. So it is a direct match with it, which I think is so fun. Lots of earrings and rings you could pair with that. And All right, everyone, leave a comment in the, in the comment down below. What do you guys think that this was a Magnificent Musings reject set? I'm, epic pause, I'm thinking it's a Magnificent Musings rejected set. It was something that they were thinking, huh, maybe we should do this as a Magnificent Musings. And then everyone's like, no, that's not going to sell. People don't like brass. Brass doesn't sell. So now she's doing is a sneak peek hidden gem and bam, it's sold out. And I feel like the white or crystal or clear rhinestones, whatever you want to call them with the brass, gives it just a hit. It's a white rhinestone. It isn't crystal. It isn't Stavarsky crystals. It's not diamonds. It's a white, cheap piece of lead based glass in my humble opinion. Okay, that is my have a opinion. vintage look, which is also fun and different. Oh, now these go. are fun mini hoops. So you can see right there, we've got the hoop and then we actually call these drop hoops because this teardrop is extending below and then it's got those white rhinestones right there around the edges, which makes them match so many items. Yeah, I'm sure they do. This is a fun bracelet. You've got an open framework, which is so pretty. And then right there, you've got that big pink Cadmium stone, which I love. Rock. You see the detail of that. And I love how it's a nod to a flower around the outside. But again, that it's open framework nice. makes it really light and easy to wear. Yes. Now this necklace is also very refined. I consider this a Malibu. How is this chunk of metal with Charmies refined? When we get a close-up of this, I'm sorry. I'm just going to be like, what? So she's like, this is a refined piece. It's a refined piece of crap. Even though it's Here got go. pearls and look. rhinestones, you can see the resin rows. We've got the different pearls, and then we've got a... Oh, so we have a key resin roses. Oh my gosh, this thing looks ugly, and I can see it from... Heart oh. lock, okay, and then a big key that are completely covered in rice. Okay, so we have uh, an ugly mustard pea colored pearl with a, a, a pearl that looks like a, a poop squiggle, a resin rose, a rhinestone covered heart, and a rhinestone key all on a big o-ring on a cheap chain being held on with another cheap o-ring. Very refined. Yeah, I don't think so. And if you guys hear the noise in the background, it's just David. He's playing video games. Einstones. So, so pretty, but it right? It doesn't even hang right. You can see that big lock even... right there. Oh, oh, my goodness. And it hangs down to a cluster. So it's going to be really cute on an outfit. No, it's really ugly. And it's this overdone. is a fun one. These are post earrings. Timu special! Check those out. They're like a burst or array of pearls and rhinestones. It's a so you've got the gold, the white Pomerazzi. pearls, and then you've got those iridescent rhinestones all the way around. I want to make sure you see that it's iridescent. You see? Okay, um, this rhinestone right here where my mouse is, it looks like it's a pearl area that popped off, but there's a rhinestone in there. But it looks like something's missing in unintentionally, but that's intentional. But that's a Timu pair of earrings right there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's iridescent crystally rhinestones, but it's, it's ridiculous. All that color just glittering inside there. So, so pretty. And last but not least, we have a set. Now I told you I got up because it's rainy. I dressed feminine, but also in my head, I was thinking she got up and she got dressed because it was raining. <laughs> and it's raining i went to work today and i got up and i got dressed and it's raining it's still raining right now it's been raining for 22 days straight okay maybe i should wear something happy and fun just because colors right dopamine dressing can change your mood dopamine and this dressing. is definitely a necklace that i feel like Word will salad. make you happy you can see the big oversized links the purple the light pink you can see the big oversized links of plastic it's 
plastic dopamine dressing, dollar store, bubblegum, uh, bubblegum machine jewelry here. And it's dopamine dressing. There's light pink and purple and yellow. And then there's a Charmy with a smiley face. And one of the eyes is a lightning bolt. And it's so cute. And it's so fine. And the bright yellow, then it comes down to a smiley face at the bottom. We've got a lightning bolt eye and a rhinestone eye, which That's is so really, stupid. really fun. And again, these oversized links make that exaggerated look on the outfit so it's happy. Just dumb. And then we have a direct matching bracelet. So that's oh, a really look, fun set for you. Go My it. goodness, these items will be available later today. So make sure that you are ready for new releases. I hope you have the most incredible Tuesday ever. I'm wondering why she stopped doing them late at night and that she was just doing them during the day because uh, she was doing sneak peeks and stuff at night. I'm guessing that she didn't get a lot of views or people weren't really that excited about it. So, all right. So, I'm going to make my, my noggin a little bit smaller and we're going to look at these, uh, these, these things. All right. So, let's scroll down to the bottom. And as you can clearly see, uh, let's go to the very, very bottom. So, um... I have received so many emails from current, current consultants uh, who got their Fashion Fix subscription for February, or no, for, yes, for February, and they were so angry and so disappointed in the last two months of their Fashion Fix subscription that they are canceling it, which... I can see why you would want to do that because nobody wants to buy a necklace with a vagina and a pair of earrings that look like penises. Nobody wants this bijou-y, ugly thing here. And as you can clearly see, the Love Donut is still available. We've got all of these things which are still available. Notice that didn't sell out. Uh, notice these pieces. This natural need did not sell out. Uh, all of these bracelets, there's a fashion fix bracelet right there. And all of these didn't sell out. Those, still available, haven't sold out. Uh, people who have been consultants for quite some time are getting frustrated with the quality of the jewelry. In fact, somebody else you will remain nameless because I'm not naming names. Uh, their last order had six pieces that were broken, missing rhinestones. They weren't even in the plastic within the plastic. The rhinestones just weren't even on the thing. And they were frustrated by that. I don't blame you guys for being frustrated with the absolute shit show that is the quality of paparazzi because the quality is terrible. Okay, the quality is absolutely bad. I mean, and I'm sorry, if I was going to spend $2.75 on a pair of earrings, uh, I would be going to uh, this place. And I could get some real, uh, you know, pinwheel earrings with rhinestones. So say I wanted to get some cute rhinestone earrings that had pinwheels or something. So yeah, I would go to Timu. Okay, 59 cents for those. Pineapples. Fourth, St. Patrick's Day. There are so many better things that you can get for so much less. There's a pair of Fashion Fix earrings right here for $2.69. Here's the Life of the Party pieces for $1.49. Um, here's something ridiculous that would probably sell. Then we have the Raffia uh, pot holder earrings right here. But as you can clearly see, you guys, you can get a better deal. So I'm going to look for rhinestone and pearl earrings. So I'm going to just type in pearl and rhinestone earrings. So as I go through pearl and rhinestone earrings, here's one with cute bows. 78 cents. Here's another cute pair. Keep scrolling down. I'm pretty sure you'll see the win 
the pinwheel things that paparazzi's trying to sell with their new releases. If you scroll long enough and far enough, you will find paparazzi earrings. Like these rhinestone bows. Here's another statement piece. But I will find them eventually. But as you can clearly see, paparazzi does not get their original ideas from any place special. They get them from the catalog of their Chinese wholesaler. Then what do they do? They turn around, kick up the price, and raise it to you, you know, and sell it to you at an escalated price. Tell you you're getting a good deal when you're really not. And then uh, tell you that you could sell it for $5. Okay. All right. Fine. Here's the pinwheels. two forty eight right there. And they have them in several different styles. But here's... Uh, spiral earrings. So that's how they describe them on Timu. Spiral. Spiral. Okay. And the nice thing about Timu is if you bought something, you can get a price adjustment up for 30 days after the shipment, you know, uh, 30 days after the order ships. I mean, they're, you know, it's just, it's common sense to do it that way. Okay, it just is. So, go on Timu, people. If you're a current paparazzi consultant, go on Timu. I mean, even E. coli is advertising that she buys on Timu. So, you know, she's not above it. You know. So, here's some cheap hoops. Even cheaper hoops. You can see why I call them what I call them. Uh, Fun-loving feet. Hmm. Really? Okay. And then, uh, these were hidden gems or sneak peeks last week. Still haven't sold out. Not shocked there. And then, oh, I've got so much pain today. There's the VJJ ring. And this, this is not a new ring. It's just in a different bunch of colors. But it's the same thing. And now, ooh, look, it's in pink. And then, all these stupid rings. All right. That is an old piece that they brought back. It's not new. That is not a new piece. It's just brought back, but that's a new piece, but it's a carabiner heart, and it hasn't sold out yet. And that's the other thing. I was looking at all the included earrings that they have. They used to have really cute included earrings, and I'm just going to hold one of them up for a second. This came on a necklace that I sold with paparazzi, and it had a three-plate or... It was a statement necklace, but these were the included earrings. They were actually decent. I don't have the necklace anymore, but I found the earrings in my jewelry box today, so I wore them. But the included earrings here are one of the plastic chain hoop things. Wow. Okay. And that looks like a bunch of fireworks. That looks like something you would get at the 4th of July. And then, again, that's not new. That's an old piece. The included earrings there are just dumb. And the included earrings there, you get a bead. Ooh. More beads. But they've really cheapened up on the included earrings. Now you get, like, this, the chains, a cheap pearl. I mean, the blockbusters still have somewhat decent earrings with it, but everything else comes with a stupid little rhinestone. And what does that say? Every, every necklace comes with an included pair of earrings, and this is not... A new piece that is so old I remember when that came out in yellow and it's at my store forever and then fashion fix pieces that are still there and that ugh, so dumb I'm just I'm looking at all the stuff that they you know they're trying to push on you guys so while we are talking about it February fashion fix pieces just dropped. Um, so this is a, a layered necklace right here. It's a bunch of chains. And then this one's rhinestones with a chain. That one is a pendant with a decent chain. And then we have Charmies called Desert Getaway. I'm guessing that's a Simply Santa Fe set. And then we've got up up and away, yay, my beautiful balloon. I mean, and that's the thing. The shirt the model's wearing, you can't even see the necklace. But there's a camera with a rhinestone, a hot air balloon, a smiley face, a heart, a star. Ooh. 
But then the ring is a camera. <laughs> so stupid. And then we have a uh, gummy bear daisy flowers and something that looks like um lopsided somethings. And then the earrings on that, they aren't terrible, but they're not great. And then we have gummy bear flowers with charmies that look terrible. That's got to be magnificent musings if I'm right. I'm but yeah, that looks like a bunch of bolts and springs put together with an earring. And I'm sorry, but those those are not cute. Okay? I, I'm looking at all this stuff. So yeah, that is the Magnificent Musing set. The Fiercely Fifth Avenue set. And then Glimpses of Malibu looks childish. Okay? And then we've got Sunset Sightings, which is equally childish. And then Simply Santa Fe just dumb. This is what upset people. But I will notice one thing. They're, they're getting away from doing a lot of rings because rings don't sell. There's only two sets with rings. The rest of them come with layers of necklaces and bracelets, but there's only two sets that have included rings. Paparazzi's learning something. They're learning that the rings don't sell. I've been saying it for four years now. The rings don't sell. They sit and accumulate dust forever and a day. So, anyway, I've been droning on for over a half an hour. So, that is it for today. Sorry, I've not been good about recording and uploading. I've been busy with work and life and health complications. And um, I'm going to try and get better about getting back into the swing of things. So this one's just a fun one until I get started on more more in-depth content. So I want to thank you guys for being here. I want to give a shout out to the members of my channel. You guys are amazing. You are not required to be members, but it is so appreciative. It helps me bring you more content. And it makes me feel like you believe in the content. But most of all, if you are an O negative blood type, please consider donating blood. O negative blood is an extremely short supply and I need it to survive. So please donate blood if you are able to. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.